Yo, what's up, y'all? Snoop here, giving you some more deets for the salon suite industry. So, we've talked about in many of my videos how do you pick a great location, right? We talked about some of the things that you need to look for when you're looking for a location, but most people are wondering, how do I even find these locations, Snoop? Well, one of the things that you wanna do is you wanna link with realtors in your area, right? You wanna get with the professionals. This is not something that you want to do on your own, all right? The beauty industry is a $531 billion industry, and it just continues to grow. This is a recession-proof industry. People are always going to need to get these services done. People care what they look like, especially we're in a entrepreneur-driven society. And that's why this salon suite model always wins. If you can put it into a populated area, Area, um, a decent sized metropolitan city where individuals need to have beauty services done, you're gonna win. And so essentially what you do is you lease or buy a building. I tell people that work with me um, that take my course as well as that franchise with me, you wanna get a building that's at least 3,000 square feet. You know, so for this to be profitable for you, you need to at least have about 17, 18 suites that you're working with, okay? So you wanna get with a good commercial realtor somebody who specializes in commercial realtors. So not somebody that was doing residential and they just started doing commercial real estate. You wanna get somebody who specializes in commercial real estate. They can pull all the listings up for you and find the properties that you need to find. So when you're looking at potential leases for your location, you wanna make sure that you pay attention to increases in rent, you want to make sure you pay attention to cam charges. What exactly is included in those cam charges? Is it going to include trash? Um, is it going to include the out perimeters of the business? Are they going to have your area outside lit up? You want to make sure that you know what all is included and especially pay attention to those rent increases guys because when it comes to rental increases you may start at paying four thousand dollars a month and by the time you're into year four you're paying six thousand dollars a month so that's an additional two thousand dollars a month that you're paying so that's something very important that you want to make sure that you pay attention to all right make sure you try to negotiate some free months rent so when we look at this, we're renovating somebody else's building, right? We're making it beautiful. We're putting these suites in here. A lot of times we're starting off with something um, that's an open shell. And so when you're doing that, you wanna make sure that you negotiate free rent because you're actually helping your landlord increase his property value. All right, so those are three quick things that you wanna make sure that you look at when you're negotiating your lease. And if you've got a great commercial realtor, they should be helping you do that. All right, so I'm about to tell you guys the game right now exactly how it is that you get started in developing your own salon suites. So first and foremost, just like with most businesses, location is key, all right? So when it comes to location, there are going to be several things that are going to be very, very important to you. Number one is size, okay? So you don't want to have something too small where you can't have enough salon suites that's gonna support the income that you want to bring in or that you wanna generate from your business. So I know you're probably thinking in your head, well, Snoop, how many salon suites do I need? How many suites do I need in my actual business to be able to do that? What size, how many square feet, et cetera? Well, from my experience, you wanna make sure that you have something that's at least about 2,600 square feet or larger. Now, when it comes to your first one, you don't want to go too large. I'm actually going to share some of my architectural plans with you guys of one of the first salon suites, the actual first salon suite from Remedy Downtown that I built out. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how many square feet it is. We're gonna talk about the different size of some of the salon suites. Um, so that you know what works, what doesn't work. Um, and we'll go into that process for you all, okay? But you wanna have something that's going to be a decent size. For somebody that is just starting off, a decent size is gonna be something that's about 
2,500 to 3,000 square feet. I wouldn't do anything more than about 3,200 square feet. What is it that you enjoy about working in a salon suite versus a salon? I like the fact that it's mine. I have control of my hours. I have control of the money I make. I only have to deal with myself and my client and nobody else. And it just gives me that freedom that I look for with having my own business. And it's less overhead. Less overhead, <laughs> man. I know that's right. when you're first starting off, okay? You want something that's going to get you about anywhere from about 18 to 22 salon suites, okay? Um, it's really the minimum that you want to have um, so that you can generate a good product, pro so that you can generate a good profit, okay? so. First and foremost is gonna be your size, okay? Uh, secondly, you're gonna wanna look at the part of town that you're in when it comes to your city. So for me, I started off in downtown. I've always found that having businesses downtown just works. People will always travel to downtown. People may not always wanna travel to the south side, the north side, um, or whatever of a city, but when it comes to downtown or that general area, that generally is going to be a good area. So you're gonna to have to do a little bit of research in your area to see where salon suites are needed, okay? So generally, anywhere that's gonna be a good traffic area um, that's very highly populated um, that has people that were that are upwardly mobile <clears throat> that care about the way that they look and that are into beauty services is going to be a good part of town to put your salon suite in okay um, you're going to want to look at your price per square foot all right so you don't want to be paying too much for something like this because how you're going to make your money is off of those four things that we discussed earlier that's so gonna be off of leasing your suites out, your vending machines or food, um, valet, uh, and then your beauty store. <clears throat> so you don't wanna, you wanna make sure that you're not paying too much per square foot for your venue. Now you also wanna make sure that when you're looking at your lease, that you look at the, your rent increase. Cause a lot of times people will just look at that first year <laughs> and they don't bother to look at those other years and then you're going from paying 4,000 a month to the, by the time that you're in that fifth year of that lease, you're paying 6,000 a month. And then you've already built this thing out and you've decided, hey, I'm paying way too much. At the end of that five year lease, you're looking to renegotiate. But guess what, they're not gonna go down. So you have to do that right then in the beginning. You really have to understand the nuts and bolts of your lease. It's good to try to be able to get you know, water, trash, and things of that nature included. Hey, what does the CAM include? You know, What's your responsibility and what is your landlord's responsibility? For an industry like this, that is a growing, long lasting industry, if you are in the position to be able to buy the location that you're looking at, I would absolutely recommend it. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Snoop Diller and I have opened and operated probably over 20 businesses at this point. Uh, started opening up businesses when I was at the young age of 20 and just kind of found my niche in the restaurant industry and can't lie, being in the restaurant industry has actually made me millions of dollars, but doing so, I've learned that it is so stressful. <laughs> you gotta hire a lot of staff in order to get things done. Uh, each of my restaurants probably has anywhere from 10 to 40 employees. So that's a lot of liability there. That's a lot of payroll taxes there. And so in doing so, I started looking at other industries that I could get in that would be just the exact opposite. Uh, that would provide me a lot of wealth and a lot of income, but not with the headache, not as much operating expenses, not as much overhead, and not as much staff. And I came across the salon suite industry. Wow, it's just so amazing. It's an industry where you literally can be an absentee owner. And so that's why I put together this course after just bumping my head 
the first few years when I first started my first location, I made a lot of mistakes and there's no reason why you guys should have to make those mistakes. I put together a step-by-step -step course that is gonna break everything down from the beginning, from looking at locations, negotiating your lease, to actually opening up your salon suite business. So we're gonna take everything step by step. We put it together in a course for you guys. That way you don't have to make a lot of the same mistakes that I made when I first got started. So go ahead, click the link below and go ahead and get signed up. For me going forward, unless I can just find a location that's just out of this world, my next few salon suites that I will be building out I will be owning the dirt. So that's just something that you definitely want to make sure that you keep in mind, all right? So when it comes to your location, um, you wanna make sure that you keep in mind the size of it, the price per square foot, what does the lease include, uh, what part of the city it, it's in, and very importantly, how much parking are you gonna have? So let's break this down. Let's say you've got a salon suite that has 18 suites, all right? So you've got 18 suites in there. I mean, you got 18 tenants. So let's say <clears throat> everybody is at work at one time. And believe you me, during a busy holiday weekend, on a busy Friday, it can absolutely happen. So that's 18 cars right there if everybody is driving to work. Even if only half of those people are driving to work, that's nine cars, okay? Then whoever they're doing, their clients that they're coming and getting their services done on, they're driving, okay? So even if only half of them are driving, that's another nine cars. So that's 18 cars that you've got to have a place to park. And when you're trying to sell your suites out, these potential tenants, they're thinking about this. They're looking. And so you'll learn as you're selling suites out, you'll learn what tenants are looking for, okay? They're looking for something that smells good. They're looking for something that looks good. They're looking for a place that they'll be able to park, a place that they'll feel safe at at night. Because keep in mind, most salon suites have 24-hour access, okay? That's one of the beauties of them having a salon. Keep in mind, these are business owners. They don't want to be limited to just working whereas like in a salon most of the time you know you close at eight o'clock nine o'clock ten o'clock whatever the case may be well with your salon suite they're going to have 24-hour access so they're looking for safety um, so that's another thing to keep in mind when you're talking about location um, when you're talking about where your salon suite is located um, so it's very those things are going to be very very important location is absolutely everything when it comes to salon suites so these are the things that we're talking about that's not just common sense so like i said you don't need a lot of experience to do this thing but there are some things that will make or break your salon suite and the location is one of them all right now if you guys want any more deets and information when it comes to getting into the salon suite industry make sure you head on over to salon suite master course.com.